Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I'm going to talk a little more Space Invaders. Last time I talked about it was for my 2000 subscribers special. I sort of said uh, what was the very first video game I ever played in my life? It was Space Invaders. Um, I love the, the game. It's got a very special place in my affections because of it being my very first video game. But I will confess, it's not the most exciting game to play, and anytime I go to events and I see the classic cabinet sitting there, nobody's really playing it. So it's sort of... I've wanted to kind of have a Space Invaders representation in my collection, because for me it's important and special. It's an iconic game. But it's not like I really have many ways to kind of celebrate that. Um, up to now, I kind of just use this, which is uh, the Game Boy, uh, sorry, original Game Boy cartridge, where uh, you can plug this into the um, Game Boy player for your Super NES, and it will unlock the arcade ROM of Space Invaders so you can play it. Uh, that's really cool, but it's a little limited. There's not too many times that I use that um, Super Game Boy in the Super NES. I was maybe toying with the notion, uh, a couple of Christmases ago I got this, the, uh, what was it even going to fit, the Galaxian little mini arcade thing here. There is a uh, Space Invaders version of that, and I was going to maybe pick that up and have it sitting beside Galaxian, because, again, though I don't play Space Invaders that much, it's sort of one of those very distinctive cabinets that I really, really love, and I thought, well, I need to have something to represent Space Invaders in my collection, because, again, it's the very first game I ever played, so I'll get one of those little mini arcades to sit beside my Galaxian. However, now my arcade has made a Space Invaders cabinet fairly large, maybe about the slightly smaller than a Vectrex, but considerable in size. Um, it's a very, very cool Space Invaders cabinet, super deep, the reason being it uses the original idea of the old 70s cabinet of having a mirror reflecting the image off, and so therefore the invaders are floating above the planet in the distance, and that's pretty cool. Uh, a few people have already talked about this, uh, Willio and a few others. They've done unboxings, and I was going to get one, and then it was sold out. However, it has just come back into uh, stock as of recording this video. So, got my order placed, gonna be getting one, and I'm hoping it turns out as good as Willie and the others have said. It has its issues, which I'll probably go over whenever I eventually get the thing. But uh, in the meantime, since I don't have any other uh, Space Invaders representation, I just thought, you know what, let's show off this thing in my collection. A Space Invaders Whack-A-Mole. Uh, this is a little, it's a keychain thing, much like that uh, Galaxian cabinet. Um, and it just runs off, you know, a couple of little watch batteries on the back here. Um, and you can play Whack-A-Mole with a Space Invaders twist to it, which I <laughs> think is pretty cool. Got this a little while ago as just a bit of a tchotchke, but since we're talking Space Invaders, uh, let's actually have a game of it. So, it's got three settings. There's off, there's a little battery compartment. Uh, off and then with sound or with the sound muted. So let's do on with sound. And I think you have to hit the bottom thing to launch the game. Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now we're started. So basically, okay, I'm going to let it run, but basically... I just need to hit each of those with my thumb. So let's give this a whirl. In fact, I'll just, let me adjust the light a bit. Here we go. Oh no. I think that means I got to the next level. Ooh, oh yeah, and now you can see the lights have changed. I've only got a couple of lights. Oh my God. Game over, really? All right, well, we'll try it again, but they see actually the bottom light, it indicates how many lives you have left. Let's give us another whirl.
got me. Ah! That's a good thing, I think. Why are they... I don't understand why I'm dying there. Hmm. One last game. I gotta give this up. What is the, uh... What's the objective here? Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay, that I got. I missed that one. Ah, oh, all right, well. <laughs> and there it is running uh, silently without the sound. So yeah, that's just a cute little thing that I picked up. Space Invaders Whack-A-Mole, it's a good bit of fun. Um, actually very challenging too. And it's a neat way to play Space Invaders uh, without a screen available. So just thought I'd show that off. Um, yeah, look forward to me getting that My Arcade Space Invaders cabinet. I'm really looking forward to it. And until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.